Hi guys, this is my review of the Ego Snowblower. It's a 21 inch clearing path. This is a 56 volt. The model I have has the two 5 amp lithium batteries and it's got a throw specified of 35 feet. From what I could tell, this is a little bit of snow. I was just trying to get it out and test it, see how it performed but it definitely had no issue throwing the snow uh, quite a bit. I don't know if it went to the measured 35 feet, but again, this is a very small amount of snow. Uh, what you'll see in this video here too, though, is a couple of the pros and the cons of the snow blower. Uh, right now I'm trying to go over some spots that have been driven on a couple times, and this is one area that the snow blower does have a little bit of trouble with. I previously owned a single stage Toro, and also a two-stage Aaron snowblower and they were able to get to the ground and to chop up the snow in those packed in areas where the ego tends to want to go over top and does not work to get through that packed down snow but in regular snow again this does a great job it, uh, it's easy to use uh, there's a little bit of pushing with this snowblower if you're used to one that's single stage where you can let the paddles carry you forward. Uh, this particular model, you are pushing it forward the entire time, but it did not seem to struggle again in this snow. And one concern I had was the battery life for the driveway. I tend to do uh, my two-car garage driveway. It's an overpour, and then also the sidewalk and neighbor's driveway and then even clear a little bit of path out by the mailbox but as you'll see in this video I was able to do all that with still a full green charge left there so we're looking at about 45 minutes to charge these with a the rapid charger so about an hour and a half in between if you do run the battery out. Again you'll see here little bit of trouble when you hit these spots where the snow is packed down so recommendation is definitely to get the snow cleared where you're not driving over top of it but didn't have any trouble I did take it out into the road and there was probably five inches of packed down snow from three days prior and pushing that right in the pile never bogged the snow blower down and never had to slow down pushing it it just chews through it and throws the snow quite a bit. Uh, on a windy day like it is out there now, you'll see you'll get a little blowback because it is throwing it so far. You can adjust that chute at the top there and lower the distance and send it a little more direct over to the side to help cut down on that blowback. Snowblower will come with a three-year warranty on the batteries and a five-year warranty on the snowblower. I also own the Ego 15-inch string trimmer, the 20-inch lawnmower, and the Ego leaf blower handheld, not the backpack. And with the leaf blower I did have to use the return policy uh, which Eagle was very good with uh, sending out a new battery within a few days after calling so the warranty I've tested that process and it does uh, they do stand behind the product there so overall again it's a well-built unit it feels sturdy and the adjustable handle there uh, to turn the chute is very nice. The other models that I have, you have to reach over and turn it manually, uh, and or you can use a crank handle, but this with the lever at the top makes for quick adjustments there when you're blowing the snow and need to change the direction. So, impressed with this. Would recommend it there if you have moderate snowfalls, even heavier snowfalls, you may just have to take smaller passes and smaller bites out of it with the snow blower. but in my comparison with using a single stage into two stage, this does very well with handling the snow, just the only issues I had with it 
Again, we're trying to go over spots that have been driven on. And then the other complaint or drawback, I would say, is that the scraper blade does tend to catch if your driveway has any uneven parts, as mine does. And even just between slight variations on the sidewalk, you're going to find um, that the scraper blade will catch much like a metal shovel. And you have to kind of adjust your approach when you're coming up to those areas and maybe lift up the snow blower to avoid slamming into the concrete. So it will take maybe some adjustment if you've used a different type of snow blower before. But good model and a good company. I've been impressed and pleased with the, par the products so far. And now I have multiple batteries, so I should not have any issue with any of the equipment and running out of batteries but again the, my concern was with the battery life here and I did this two-car driveway and as you'll see at the end of the video also did my neighbor's two-car driveway and the sidewalk in front of both neighbors and also a couple of passes out in the road for the mailbox for the mail lady and there was no issue with running out of battery. This again though was a very small amount of snow, so heavier wet snow, four to six inches, six or more inches, uh, may not get as much of a run time out of the unit, but impressed overall again with the quality, uh, the build and the, and the power, the throwing distance is, uh, well, might not measure exactly 35 feet, but is definitely going to remove some snow quite a distance. As you'll see here, pretty simple operation. Push and hold the button down and press and hold the auger handle and you're on your way. So if you've ever had the issue with the carburetor on the gas snow blower, you will appreciate the ease of use on how to get the snow blower started. Pretty easy to assemble as well. It also will handles will fold down for storage, not quite as compact as the lawnmower, but does help save some space in a garage with those handles folded down. And again, very lightweight too, without the batteries. Not too hard to handle to get it lifted in and out of a vehicle. So that is a benefit. Here's the completed shots of the driveway. I was able to do my driveway, the neighbor's driveway, and both neighbor's sidewalks with battery power to spare. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, please like, comment, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll put the links in the video description uh, to where you can purchase the snowblower.